All right, everyone. So I am at the uh, Kissimmee Repticon right now. Um, unexpected last minute decision to come over here. I've already shopped around and gotten some things here, but I always tend to shop first before I record anything just in case, especially since today is Sunday. Uh, I tend to be a Saturday person when it comes to coming to these shows just so I can find certain things that I'm looking for that go quickly. But we are here now on Sunday and so let's take a look around. where I got my little string of frogs here.
Friday. Carnivorous plants from this cellar today. Uh, two different sundews. But we have some beautiful stuff. We want to go down to Tampa to actually see some of his collection. Well, my granddad's from Ireland. Black sand beaches or cold and drinking beer and I don't like beer. I'm going on Costa Rica. I will work with an hour. I think I'm about, I would have been about 13 at the time. Yeah, I got, <laughs> I've never been I got one of these. You know, there's, no, one these. there's only one native like reptile to Ireland, I think, and it's like rarely seen. Yeah. When I was in Costa Rica, I got caught. Oh, they don't. You see a 30-pound bone? It'll probably be size. They're all muscles. <laughs> Sometimes they only lose like 30, 20 percent. So when they do that, it's easy to put them back on food. If they go back on food properly and they put the weight back on, then more times than not, you can go another season. Um, and you'll always see that a lot with the Central Americans. And um, I'm not sure if that has to do with the albumin production that you see more of in Colombians versus uh, Central or not. But uh, yeah, sometimes you can do females back to back. But by rule of thumb, it should be one year on, one year off for the breeding cycle. Thank you. Yeah. This place has some really, really cute spider enclosures. It's all like fairy tale themes. I really like the dragon type things. 
And they said they were having a lot of fun making some uh, more spooky themes right now for Halloween. Here's one now, zooming on her. Here she is, look at that face. The cutie, thank you. I like this one right here, it's a little ghosty, it's so cute. <laughs> and then they have their little, their little spirits out in here. See that boy? jealous of everything that they have here. So, a whole bunch of Brazilian rainbow boas here. They're beautiful. This camera does not do them justice though. I'll show you some of the bigger ones. Alright, so this one here you can see a little bit more. But my camera's still not doing them justice. But they are beautiful snakes. I had somebody looking for rainbow. I told them about you. He's like, I saw one of these little prices. There are several really good spider sellers here today with really, really beautiful habitats. Like, all of them have been so great. I love this one with the dragon. So I almost got this one myself from. When I was at the store, I was working on one of my own enclosures and I saw this little love dragon there and I almost grabbed it for myself. And uh, it was a good idea because look how cute that is. That is adorable. That's about the size I would like. I don't keep that, I separate by hash, but that's about the size like you would have. <laughs> it's nighttime for them. <laughs> They're tired. It was so nice to meet you guys. I'm going to be in touch. Bye. Thank you again. How are you today? Good. Feel free to enjoy all the babies. Will do. Can I really pop out? Are you going to pop out? Yep. This show is like a slower pet show. Yeah. So like this versus NRB, but totally different. All right. I just got a spider actually here earlier. Look at this big boy down here. She's a drinking the spot off my hand. Oh, She's okay. A little gross, but I guess you do, you girl. I like the salt. Yeah. Thank you. Actually, your whole style is really cute. How are we doing? Beautiful. Enjoying the show? Thank you.
Perfect. I'm really considering getting into garbs. Yeah. It's, they're honestly really easy. I mean, they're the same as Cresties, you know? Yeah. They're real cute. This one's really funny, too. It's got personality on them. <laughs> I can see it. Yeah. I don't know I don't that real good for How are we doing today? Hello. This is where I got my girl from at Daytona. And I actually just grabbed a couple of hives from here today. Uh, they don't have any more, but they have one that was shaped like a little acorn that I grabbed for my male regal jumper. And then the girl I picked up today, I got her if you see the little basket shaped ones, I got her a little kind of tan basket. And then the girls are the ones that range in color. They range in color? Yeah, they'll be orange. We have the most beautiful enclosures. I love your shirt, by the way. I love it. These little baskets and things you've got made for them. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, let's go on to the next one. We don't ship. No te puedo decir que nunca te va a quitar. These are really cute. Yeah. Now let's go on to the next one. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Oh, yes, we are going to go on to the next one. So, I actually just got one of their canopy jumping spiders. It's actually my first. And uh, they gave me some information on them, so they were very helpful for that. Yeah, so this. And uh, my little one is in one of these little tiny things right here. So they'll end up. But we're going to move it into an enclosure, so I have some of these at home. Uh, so I'm going to put the canopy spider into probably this one's right here. And I grabbed some mealworms. We have a different ones. So canopies and regals both have oh, colors. Are you going to show you the little shells? What? She has the like, little thing covering her face. All right, so I am back home now. Um, my battery unfortunately died while I was there. So I didn't get to film even half of what I wanted to there, but I wanted to show off some of the geckos because I I breed crested geckos and so that's something that I personally go and check out while I'm at the shows um and then the spiders the regal jumping spiders and uh other jumping spiders I, I love them I'm glad that they are really really becoming popular um I'm seeing a lot of people every time I'm at the vendors tables for the jumping spiders I'm seeing more and more people approach saying like, hey, you know, I've always been afraid of spiders and, you know, these are really helping me get over my fear and I'm considering getting one. And that's just really nice to see. Uh, and all the vendors have just been so great about, you know, not just like letting people impulsively buy them either, like standing there with them, being really patient, letting them see like how to interact with the spiders, explaining their care properly, and you know, really helping them feel comfortable if they're really gonna go ahead and make that purchase. Uh, so I just thought it was awesome. Um, but I will show you all real quick what I got at this show. So hold on just a second. All right, so I had mentioned in my Daytona vlog that I had gotten this girl here. This was my original Regal Jumping Spider Nifty. Uh, she is in pre molt so she is up in that little hammock up there. Uh, but this is her enclosure. I made this enclosure. This is for my male Regal Jumper who I got. Look at his little green chills. You can kind of see them. The camera doesn't want to focus on them. Um, I got him after Daytona. And uh, today I picked up two new spiders for myself and then one for a friend of mine whose enclosure I'm actually working on making right now. So she is in kind of like a little temporary setup right now. 
Um, but this is her regal jumper. She's a really cute, like peach looking female, uh, sub adult. So I picked this up for my friend and uh, she's really inquisitive, really cute. Also, I got the, down in here, I got this little acorn hide from uh, Regal or Florida Regal Jumpers, the place where I got Nifty from. Uh, so I just picked this up today, this hide. I got another little hide over here too. And this is going to be for a setup that I am about to work on. Uh, but uh, my two spiders I just got today are still in their little temporary like habitat or little things from the show. Uh, so I've got to go put them into their actual homes. But I got this little spider right here. It's going to be really hard to focus on. But this is a little canopy jumper. Um, now from what I was told, these are incredibly, incredibly hard to sex when they are little. Uh, so we're not positive it's, if it's male or female. They made their best guess at saying that this is a female, but no guarantees, and I completely understand that. So I guess we will see as they get a little bit bigger. Uh, but these are from White Lines, I guess. Um, she was showing me pictures, and they're beautiful and fluffy and white. And uh, one of the jumpers I would love to have one day is called a uh, Fertilis. And they're pretty pricey, and but I love the white coloration of them. And so... When I saw a picture of these, plus they were much more affordable these, um, when I saw a picture of these, I fell in love. And so I got this cute little spider today. And then, and then I got this. This is a female regal jumper. And my camera is not gonna show her too well at all. This, oops. No, hold on. All right, yeah, my camera hardly wants to show. She has beautiful, beautiful red coloration. Hi, I know. Let me see. I'm trying to see if we can zoom in. This camera does not want to focus on her. We can just barely see her little face in there. There we go. Oh, look how cute she is. Cleaning her little chills. Um, on camera, she's coming off like a almost brown. In person, she is like very, very red. Um, but this is just her little thing, her little setup from the show. So she has got to go in an enclosure. She has a she has one of these same exact enclosures that I am getting ready for her. Uh, and then I have a setup I'll be putting together for my canopy spider here too. So there we go. Although you're not mine, you'll be going to your home pretty soon. Hopefully by the end of the week from the sounds of it. But yeah, so I got them today. I got this little friend here. This is a string of frogs. So I got this little plant while I was at the show. And then I gotta go outside to show you my other two plants I got. So All right, and then at the show, don't mind, some of my plants are not doing so hot, but I got this guy and this guy at the show. My poor little guy over here was not doing too well, trying to make a recovery here. We'll see, um, I'm not too hopeful, but I guess you never know. I have another picture plant back there. Uh, but yes, I got these two at the show today. Um, so I am pretty excited about that. Okay, so yeah, so that's everything I got at the show today. It is a much smaller show, especially compared to Daytona, which was like almost overwhelming with the number of vendors that they have there. Um, but this was in one big room or fairly large room. Um, and there were still some really good, really good vendors there. I enjoyed myself quite a bit. Um, and yeah, I mean, it was Sunday today, so I can't say like, you know, go to the show this weekend because it is now over. Uh, but I mean, if you see Repticon showing up in your area anytime soon, maybe go check it out. Um, because they have some pretty cool vendors that I always see there and I have a good time every time. Especially when I get spiders out of it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyways, 
I hope you all enjoyed. Hopefully I got enough footage in this. We'll see as I'm editing it, but you know, it is what it is. Hopefully you enjoy it either way. Um, I do have other vlogs up, including the Daytona show and past uh, Repticon shows as well. So if that's something you're interested in, you know, check out my other videos. They are up there. Um, as always, if you enjoy this video, please like it just to let me know that you want to see more content like this. Uh, and if you want to see future content like this, please subscribe. I do tend to go to the local shows and upload vlogs like this one uh, when I am able to. So yeah, definitely stay tuned and check them out. And anyways, I will see you all again very soon. If you went to the show or any other local shows, let me know what you got. If you got anything cool, I love to hear about it. And uh, I'll see you all again very soon.